Hello everybody, what's up? It is me, Rebius, and today we're going to be making a tutorial on how to do depth of field so and then and, and such in uh, After Effects. And uh, I'll actually show you an example, oh god loud, um, of what we're going to be doing. And uh, So, if you look right here and you see how everything is, and it's motion track too, if you see how like that's all sharp and then the background is blurred and, and it just kind of looks really nice and natural. And I could do like a tutorial on the 3D text and stuff too. But essentially, yes. And, and I, I did a lot of it with this one too. But okay, let's get into it. So, uh, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to, um, well, not file, <laughs> composition, then make a new composition, and we'll call this tutorial. Because it's a tutorial. Okay. And uh, I'm actually going to get rid of that tutorial one. And uh, that tutorial one. Oh my god! Bleah. Okay, we're just gonna do the new project because <laughs> window workspace reset standard because I fucked up my windows to the window to the window. Okay, here we are in base After Effects. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a layer and we're gonna pick a. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna do this in a Call of Duty map and I'm gonna use the map. No, I'm not gonna use Riot. Or should I use Riot? You know what? I'm gonna use Riot. Because it's the one I showed you in the example. So, just make a new composition using that. And, uh, I'm probably gonna leave the scaling as it is, because I like it. So, what the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to duplicate that layer, and then you're gonna pre compose the duplicated layer, and you're gonna call it Blur Map. Blut. <laughs> blur Map. Okay? And then, what you're gonna do in the Blur Map is the. You're gonna do. Oh, excuse me. You're going to do something called 3D. Oh, shit. 3D, <laughs> ED, 3D camera tracker. Okay, go. You can just type it in there, or if you can go to effect, and then uh, perspective, and then it'll be the top one. Uh, but anyways, 3D camera tracker, and this, and then go back to your original composition, and then go to Riot, and then you're gonna apply a camera lens blur. So just type this in here. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. Camera lens. Okay, there it is. Camera lens blur. You're going to apply it to that, and then you're going to go to Layer, and then you're going to press Blur Map, and then that's going to do that, and it's going to do its thing. So, anyways, it's uh, still going to be analyzing uh, the the thing here, so I'm just going to give it a second to finish to, to finish its uh, tracking. And, uh, yeah. And so it's uh, finishing that up, and that's good. It's good. Come on, hurry up! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm actually gonna make that a bit smaller. So, is it? okay, there we go. Uh, it's done. And now, if you uh, play it back, you can see there's all these little points all over the place. So, what you're going to do is you're going to find a point like this using your mouse. Then you're going to right click and then you're going to go to create solid and camera. And then what you're going to do is you're going to zoom out a little bit and you're going to make this solid a little bit bigger. You're going to scale it up a decent amount, okay? And then temporarily you're going to turn off this solid, zoom in, go to like just go to whatever frame you want to start. Then it just kind of briefly outline what you think the wall would be in, in your space, in, in your 3D space, per se. And I think mine would look something like that. And there, as you can see, it is kind of already tracking that pretty nicely. And, and that looks good. It looks like it's tracking, okay? So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a gradient to this. Uh, gradient ramp, actually. That's what it's called. Oops. Okay, and you want the black... Black end to be... I'm pretty sure... Yeah, 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 it's black. Um... Oops. Uh... Yeah, black is, uh... White is more blurred, blurred and black is less blurred. So you want the things closer to you to be more blurred, and you want the things 
Oh my god, I just said that backwards. You want things closer to you to be less blurred, and you want the things farther away from you to be more blurred. So, now if we play this bla black, if you play it back, as you can see, it uh, has a really nice effect here. And uh, look at that. So, it's already kind of tracked. And if you go back to your original thing here, and you look at it, you can actually kind of tell. And the way we can tell is if I turn up this blur radius... Oh shit. Uh okay. Uh oh wow, yeah, because it only did that. So if I turn up the blurriness, you see how the um that part actually everything else blurred except from that part. Uh, because uh, it'll choose the black and white. I'm gonna put it to five right now so I can keep doing this. Anyways, um so now what I kinda wanna do is I wanna go back to the blur map. And I want to get another thing going here. So I'm going to go back to the 3D camera tracker thingy here. And uh, that's it. That's on right, actually. Effects, then 3D camera tracker. And I'm just going to kind of pick spot. And I'm going to make a solid on this platform right here. I don't know why the hell I just did that. Okay, then I'm going to make a new solid again. And uh, again, we are going to size the living hell out of the solid okay so that looks nice just like that and uh i'm not gonna take too much time on this because i don't want to go too crazy like i did on the actual video but essentially again what we're gonna do is turn off the layer and uh kind of imagine a rough outline of what oh wow i did i did shape layer Kind of imagine your outline. Okay. No. Kind of imagine your like how how your thing is in 3D space. And uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. And because uh, I've done this map before, so if I if I go into 3D, okay, yeah. So there we go. So now I have to go to masks. And uh, go to mask path, mask feather, and or not mask feather, just mask path. And uh, actually, you what you can do is as time goes along, you can actually move each and every one of your points to make it fit your map better, like this. So if you go like this, and that doesn't fit. You would move that, and then you could zoom out, then move that. And actually, I'd probably move this one and then that down. Okay, let's. Uh, Go back, go a little more forward. So that looks good, except that goes a little bit up. Then that goes a little bit back. Then that goes. Oh my gosh. That goes back. Let's move this forward. This one down. Add another one, maybe. Okay, now let's uh, zoom in a little bit again. Uh. If you go a bit more forward, see how it's looking. Looking pretty good still. Okay. Then I'm going to move this one way back. That one forward. And it's still looking pretty nice, actually. It, it's, it usually does a, not a bad job when it comes to tracking it, but, you know. I'm trying to make it perfect. Ugh. So let's just keep uh, going along in time. Then you keep moving it to uh, however you want it. And I'm actually going to put that way back there. So it doesn't need to be like that. And then, and then I'll probably just, for the sake of this video, because I don't want to spend too much time doing anything else, just make it about that long. So now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to turn that layer back on. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to make that aqua or no i want to make it aqua yeah just so i know or brown so i know it's different okay and now if we play it back as you can see it is behind this layer but it also doesn't overlap the background it is just that platform and uh, put that there see that's what's kind of nice you, you can make a little because because we have the um Thing on, you can make little tweaks here and there, and I know it ends, but anyways, we're gonna go to gradient ramp, then you're gonna apply another gradient ramp to this, and you want 
the start of your ramp to be all the way here, and you want the end of your ramp to be all the way down there. So if we look, it looks pretty good. And now if we go back to Riot, and we go back to the original composition, if we go to if we go to this, and then you turn up the blur radius, you can probably tell. Do you see that the ground here isn't getting blurred as much? And I'm actually probably gonna go to the blur map, and I'm I'm gonna adjust this one really quick because I think that's way too. Because uh... yeah, we'll, we want that full focus. See, there we go, and uh, it, it looks pretty good. Except I'm gonna go back to the blur map again, and I'm probably going to uh, feather out the masks just a little bit on um, both of these, just because it'll make it uh, it'll make the blurring a little bit smoother. Oops, oops, oops! Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, one! I just log it. Ugh. See if I feather it out like that much, and then we go back into the right composition, it looks nice and blurred. And now we have the background blurred, the foreground, and wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that a little bit, why don't we do heptagon a little bit better. And uh, yeah, then you could, you could do anything really, you know, just do what you gotta do, man. So now, now we have some pretty decent depth of field, and I know it's gonna end right when we get back there. But like, if you're if 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 you had it speeding up at the end, you really wouldn't notice it that that the the, the depth of field just kind of stops right there. See how it gets blurrier from there to there. And uh, yeah, and and that that's really exaggerated depth of field. Like you probably want here. I'll just just for an example, uh, I'm gonna make a new layer. Ooh, actually, I forgot about that. Uh, what I can do really quickly is I can, oh, I'm going to copy that layer and I'm going to paste it in here. And uh, now we have a 3D camera. So if I go to layer new solid and we'll call this element. Dude, I suck at typing today. Oh my gosh. So now we have a new layer called element. I'm putting it on top and I'm going to effect video copilot element. I'm just going to put any any object really in there. It doesn't really matter what I put. Um, icons. We'll just do a stupid little play button for for, this, for the sake of time again. Ugh. Why am I even adjusting this? Ugh. Okay then. We'll just make this a nice little that thing apparently. So, if you already look, it's kind of already already in the space pretty nicely. Um, I'm still going to go to an element, then group one, then particle, look, particle, particle replicator. I'm still probably going to move it around a little bit, move it back, or move it back just a little bit because it doesn't feel exactly right. Actually, I don't think I, I don't think that needs to be uh No, it doesn't need to be that. Okay. Mm. I'm trying to make this so it's as exactly where I want it to be as possible. That might be good. <laughs> Why is it not working the way I want it to? Dude, I forgot I forgot how annoying it can be to to work with your placement. Okay. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm not going to spend a million hours fucking with the placement. I'm just going to There, it's a little floaty thingy. Ooh. Okay. We'll make it go in the air because why not? And then, because you know what? Just because I feel like it, I'm gonna take this entire thing, then pre-compose it again, and we'll call this final. 
and then we have here I'm going to go to excuse, uh, I'm gonna go to uh, magic bullet looks and I'm just gonna just gonna apply just a little bit of color correction here make it look real nice and cool Ooh, I like how that looks so here we go we have depth of field and I'll, I'll play this back once if it, if it wants to render for me really quick and uh, I know I know this is kind of shit and it, I didn't put that much time into it or that much effort because my actual one in the actual video I spent hours doing the depth of field and making sure everything was perfect to every single level that I want and not that this looks bad it looks it looks pretty nice I mean there's a 3d object it's it's motion tracking and it's depth of field it's in focus and the background is out of focus so it, 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 it looks it doesn't look shitty it doesn't look bad at all but Personally, I would probably go a little bit higher and above, and that's just me. So, anyways, thank you for watching. I'm going to play this one more time. There we go. You can see that there is depth of field, and it is tracked, and it looks awesome. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, show it to your friends. Try it out for yourself. If you want more tutorials, just ask me or leave a like. Because if you leave a like, then I'll probably start making little oogles of more tutorials. But anyways, please subscribe. And uh, to videos in the future, guys. Peace. Have a good day.